Nothing could separate Carlton and Essendon the last time they met at the MCG. All the more reason for the long-time rivals not to like each other. The Blues have been left clinging to fourth on the ladder, having won just one of its past four. They face a Bombers side on a roll. Three straight wins catapulting them back into the eight. But with Fletcher a late withdrawal, Betts found space early. It's home. Robinson's kamikaze approach to the contest left Howlett seeing stars. Moments later, everyone got a look at another. Beautifully placed ball for Garlett to run in and kick the goal. And the Blues have made a flying start here. A nervous start for the Bombers, but they would soon draw level through goals to Zaharakis and Cramery. 28 goals this season, make it 29. Blues coach Brett Ratton had identified their forward line in need of an overhaul midweek. The solution, Chris Judd. Judd, oh, brilliantly done to Betts. Great stuff by Judd. Smart, clever, skillful. And Eddie's got a Joe the Goose, he's got two. Judd's forward cameo paying off, but the Bombers would immediately hit back through Hurley. Has he come to the miracle? He has, and the Bombers are within a point. Seven points would separate them at quarter time. The difference, Eddie Betts. And Betts makes no mistake. The Blues finally found their target up forward early in the second. The cruiser! Promising signs as the Blues again took the reins. Up feel better at ground level and the Blues slip away again. The Bombers weren't inside 50 often, but when they got there, they'd invariably convert. Kicks towards goal! And just when the sides look set to remain level, up jumped Eddie Betts. He's going to run in and kick his fourth goal. Seven points again, the difference at half time. Cruiser delivering the biggest lead of the match soon after. Drives it through for his second goal. They build on that lead quickly too. First Yaron would goal and then the skipper would claim his 25th touch. Judd's going to run into an open goal. The Bombers' back line was tiring. Betts running rings around them. He's in and out. Betts has kicked it. He's got five. Frustration for James Hurd. The second half bearing no resemblance to the first. It was a blue avalanche. It is raining Carlton goals. Betts would kick a career best sixth. And when Armfield motored away, the Blues had strung together eight unanswered goals. Up by 58 at three quarter time. And he kicks another. Patrick Ryder would stop the rot early in the final quarter as the Bombers set about restoring pride. Well, he might have seized this one. He has with a very good kick. But the Blues appeared to be toying with them. From the 50, you'd have thought the set shot might have been the way to go. But Murphy knew better. It was enough for Bombers fans. They'd miss Betts' eighth. And they would have heard the roar as Andrew Walker launched himself. with that one. Unbelievable. Oh, it's just, that has to be the best for the year, doesn't it, Tim? I think the eyes just lit up from the word go. I see it coming in, it was a nice high ball, and poor fella underneath me, he just had, uh, he was in the prime spot, so I just flew it in, and I just saw it then for the first time, so it looked all right. The Blues re-energising their top four chances with the 74-point win, the Bombers crashing out of the eight, and it doesn't get any easier. They face Collingwood next week. David Murdoch, Big Pond Sport.